Well, the question of a bank tax uh, really illustrates the kind of tensions that the G20 is facing right now. A few months ago, a year ago, all the countries of the, in the G20 agreed that uh, taxpayers in their respective countries should never again uh, bear the cost of uh, imprudent uh, behavior uh, on the part of uh, certain uh, actors in the financial sectors that really was at the root of, uh, of, of the collapse, the economic collapse of 2008. So once we've agreed on this, uh, on this principle, the question is how do you apply it in a way that uh, really doesn't create uh, incentives for uh, institutions to move to, to jurisdictions where there are, there would be no such tax uh, from institutions where there would be a tax. And, uh, or at least some of this, of, of, of this movement might be really undesirable. The problem is that uh, you get at the time of deciding how to implement this, you get into the question of, well, you know, each, each government at the end of the day has to answer to its own constituency, and the situation in each country is vastly, vastly different. You have countries uh, like the United Kingdom, like the United States, uh, like Russia for that matter, that have spent vast amounts of uh, public funds uh, to really shore up uh, their financial sector uh, at the height uh, of, of the crisis, to prevent uh, the collapse of systematically important uh, institutions uh, that if they had been uh, wiped out would have taken huge chunks of the economy with them and they couldn't be they couldn't afford to let them collapse the problem is that of course the collapse itself of the institutions was due uh, in some very significant part uh, to uh, decisions that were made in that sector so what these governments want in essence particularly in Europe but also in the United States is create some kind of an insurance fund uh, where, you know, as per some basic insurance principle, uh, the, uh, uh, the person that might make, a or, or the, in this case, the industry that would uh, make others, uh, that would be potentially risky to others, pays into an insurance fund so that when the time, when something bad happens, there's money there to actually cover uh, the unwinding of these institutions in an orderly way, in a way that minimizes damage for the economy. So it's kind of an insurance fund. Now the countries, uh, but of course underneath all of that, most of the same countries also have a very, very uh, difficult, are facing a very difficult fiscal situation. And so one suspects that they also, they talk about an insurance fund, but in some other cases, what they really want to do is basically say, well, uh, with that money, what they really will do is shore up their basic you know, fiscal bottom line. So that's one thing, and it's the same countries. Uh, on the other hand, you have some other countries, Canada being one of them, where you know that feel that they were properly regulated, that banks didn't take the kind of risks, uh, undue risk, as it turned out uh, after the fact, uh, or they didn't have the lack of transparency in their in their transaction in what they were undertaking uh, that other countries had. So Canada felt, on the one hand, its bank were already restrained. Uh, and B, that they were properly regulated, and C, uh, it's the type of country that isn't facing the kind of uh, uh, acute fiscal problems that the Europeans, for example, are, are, are facing. Uh, and as a result, uh, Canada, based on some basic insurance principle, doesn't, doesn't think that it's causing, it's actually creating a risk for the world economy. Uh, that uh, the type of risk that institutions in the U.S. or in Europe did create, as we saw, for the world economy. and doesn't feel that its institutions should be penalized, if you will, uh, by, uh, by this kind of tax. So there's a real issue there because I think in, 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 in principle, uh, Canada definitely agrees that measures should be taken in the future uh, to ensure that taxpayers in Canada and elsewhere, because this could happen here, are not uh, on, on, uh, on, on the hook to, to bail out financial institutions. But Canada thinks that exactly the same thing can be achieved without a tax, uh, better regulation, better capitalization of the banks. Uh, whereas I think underneath the idea of a tax in the other countries, 
is not only the idea of protecting taxpayers but uh, for, against future crisis, but also, quite frankly, those are jurisdictions that really need the revenues uh, uh, right now, but they don't want to tax their sector and see it disappear to other jurisdictions. That kind of tension uh, in the G20 is really repeated across a number of, uh, of, of issues, but I think the bank tax question really epitomizes the kind of challenge they're facing where they all agree on the principle, but when it comes time to implement and who will pay, uh, different circumstances really dictate uh, each country's position and that's what is prevailing up to this point.